Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have a new makeup tutorial today recreating the makeup I wore last weekend. The event I went to was poolside and super laid back so I wore a super comfy festival Coachella-ish kind of outfit. I love crochet right now so I'm so obsessed with these pants. I got these pants and my top from this online boutique called Fevry. So I have them linked below. Please check them out. Their stuff is super, super cute. So if you guys want to learn how to create this makeup look, please continue watching. I used a new Anastasia Artist Palette, which is just so perfect for summer. And also at the end of this video, I included my Snapchat story from the day because I Snapchatted like crazy. So enjoy. Okay, so first I'm gonna prime my eyelids with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's so important to use a primer, especially when you're gonna be using vibrant colors. Please don't mind how rough and dry my skin looks. So ugly, whatever. So I'm gonna grab my Anastasia Lavish Palette and grab Sienna with a fluffy blending brush and just work that into my crease. Um, it was sticking a little bit because of the primer, but you just gotta work it in and blend it out, no big deal. So the Anastasia Artist Palette is mostly all vibrant colors, so it's great to pair with a neutral palette. So, you know, you can use any matte brown you like. You can even use your bronzer if you like. So now I'm gonna go into the Artist Palette and grab Aubergine, and it's a beautiful eggplant color, and I'm just gonna work that into um, my crease a little more tight. I'm using a tapered brush, so into my crease and my outer V. Now I'm gonna grab the shade Buttery and I'm just gonna work that right on my brow bone and make sure it blends into my crease color really smoothly. And now I'm gonna grab the most beautiful color ever, Unicorn. It's like an amazing periwinkle color. Oh, so unique, I love it. I'm just gonna pack that right onto my lid and since my lids are so huge, I'm just putting it on like half, I guess. I'm gonna grab Buttery again for my tear duct and I'm just using a little angled eyeshadow brush. So even though I already filled in my brows before starting this tutorial, I like to set my brows to the gel after I finish eyeshadow just to get rid of any powderiness that might be on them. So going back to the artist palette, I'm going to grab Punch Fuchsia and I'm going to pack that along my lower lash line with a pencil brush. So annoying, my camera got cut off, but I'm using my MAC 212 brush and the shade Coal from the artist palette and I'm just working that really tight into my lower lash line. So now I'm gonna do a cat eye with my Inglot gel liner in number 77. And so I left my gel liner open so it's completely dried up and it was really hard for me to line my eyes. So I did it off camera, but all of my recent videos show how I do my eyeliner, so just check one of them out. So now I'm just lining my waterline with my Milani eye pencil. I added some falsies off camera. These are Huda Beauty in Giselle. So now for cheek highlight, I'm using my Fergie Wet n Wild highlighter in Hollywood Boulevard. This is so inexpensive, but it's such an amazing highlight. I love it. It's a beautiful mix of champagne and pink. I really should not be layering as much as I am when my skin is this dry, but whatever. <laughs> I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette now and just dusting it on the apples of my cheeks to give them a nice lift and soft focus. And um, I just grabbed this little Milani brush and I'm just dusting some of that Fergie highlight down my nose. And now for lips, I'm gonna overline my lips with NYX Lip Pencil in brown. And then I'm gonna wear my favorite lipstick in the world, Makeup Forever Matte Number no. 3. And I know I keep using the same products in all of my videos, even my blush you're gonna see. It's like my favorite blush that I use all the time. But I promise, swear to God, I'm gonna step out of my box and in my next video, I'm gonna use like all new products. I just, I need to stop. I just love what I love. <laughs> And for blush, it's my go-to blush that I wear all the time, my Hourglass 
radiant magenta blush. It's just so beautiful. And then I'm going to add a little bit more highlight. I'm using my Kiko Cosmetics eyeshadow in I believe 208. It's a great dupe for Whisper of Guilt. It's so pretty. And our last step for this look is just to load up our lashes and falsies with a ton of mascara. So that is the completed look. I hope you guys loved this. This bluish purple I think is just so perfect for brown eyes. I am obsessed. So again, check out Fabri.com. I have my top and my amazing crochet pants, favorite pants of the season, <laughs> linked below in the description box. And I also have a 25% off coupon code GeekChic01. It expires at the end of May, so definitely check them out. Get your shop on. And as promised, here is my snap story of the day. You know when you pack and you have no idea what you packed? So, I really hope I have something to wear tonight. Did pack four cameras though. Hi guys! Cameras? My friends think I'm bad, but look at all the cameras Irene brings to a pool party. <laughs> I don't know. I'm at the Viceroy Hotel in Santa Monica with Iman. And we're here for the Palm Breeze lunch party with Shay Mitchell. We're so it's still early, so people are coming in, but we're about to head down. So excited. Shay Mitchell is hosting, and we love her. Yay! We're about to go down. Am I shouting you out? Is your thing private, or is it public? It's private. Oh, no, never no. mind. <laughs> we're double snapping. Snap. My, like, Michigan accent is getting worse and worse day by day. We're snapping. Snapping on Snapchat. <laughs> oh, I wanted to take makeup pictures today because I want to review the Anastasia Artist Palette and I didn't get to take any selfies, but it's my makeup. Love the palette. We just got to, what is this called? The Palm Breeze. Double snapping. Oh, she. Oh. oh. <laughs> she needs to make her thing public, yes or no? Let me know what you think. She's um, actually Oh, right there. It's a shame and trouble, but we were trying to not bother her because she's filming something. We're trying to get that selfie though. Snapping with my favorite snapper. Oh, Hi guys, Canadians reunite. 416. 519. I'm, I'm not okay. Canadian, but I, I'm just, okay. You can still be in the group. I'm gonna just jump in the Canadian group. Hi, Hi guys. Yay. So pretty. So pretty. Whoops. Cool. I want a flower crown. I want a flower one too. Flower crown in. Oh, we're snapping. Yeah. We got our. So Iman is contemplating going public. Should she? Public account? Or not? <laughs> I think we're the only ones that have been consistently eating ever since we got here. Like non-stop. But it's also good. Gracias. 